International Internet Seminary International Internet Seminary Stress from New Culture Part 3 Declare yourself in God. Let me help you to pray. Follow me in prayer, believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth. God, I am a part of society. I am a member of the body. I am valuable to the whole. I am a worthy member of society. God, I am letting go of my old habits now. I am a new person. I am a citizen of a new nation. I have a better life and better hope for the future. God, I am a model minority and an example to follow. I am a strong link in the chain and a functioning member of the body. Jesus is with you today. God has always been with you throughout your life. He was there when you were a child. He was there when you came into your new world. He is with you today, and He will always be with you throughout eternity. You are precious to Jesus. You are valuable to Jesus. You are loved in Jesus. You are a treasure in His eyes. You are a prized possession to Jesus. Your worth is far above rubies and diamonds. You are worth the world to Jesus. You are respected in Jesus. You are appreciated in Jesus. You are worthy, priceless, and esteemed in Jesus today. Jesus loves you just as you are, unconditionally, forever and ever. Jesus' love gives you the power to perform in your world today. You are a valuable part of your society. You are a performer. You are a functioning member of the body. You do your best to work, study, and be productive. You do your best to love, comfort, cherish, and care for those around you. You do your best to perform your part. You are the most respected in society, and now you can let go of your old self. Your life is better now than yesterday, and your future is even brighter. You are in the will of God. You are in a better place. You have a better citizenship. Look at God's blessings today. You are in a more peaceful environment. You have cleaner water, fresher air, and better food. You have many more job opportunities. You can go to school. You have a better life today. Your future is even brighter. Your children can go to school. They can grow in peaceful environment, and they are free to compete and succeed. Your present is good, and your future is even brighter. But the most significant citizenship that you have is your citizenship in heaven. Your life on earth is just temporary, but your life in heaven is eternal. Philippians 3.20 But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. Your nation is not of this world. Your identity is not of earthly country. We are citizens of God, our nation is heaven, and our city is New Jerusalem. Our Father is God, our King is Jesus Christ, and we are children of the Almighty Creator. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus and look to our heavenly future. Let's live a spirit-filled, happy life and live even happier in heaven. Our future is full of God's blessings, God's hope, and God's love. We are a minority. However, we are not just a minority, but a model minority. We are so hardworking, hard studying, and we have good moral values and ethics. We are survivors in foreign land, and we have proven ourselves to be worthy individuals. It's true that we have difficulties in this world, but the difficulties make us stronger, the experiences make us wiser, and hardships give us harder work ethics. Challenges in immigrant life actually help us to become stronger, smarter, and wiser. Take on your challenges and overpower them. Take on the obstacles and overpower them. 
become smarter, more beautiful, have better relationships, work harder, get stronger and quicker, study harder, spend more time on your work, become more efficient with time, use time wisely, choose wisely what challenges you are going to take on. Find your passion and devotion and challenge yourself to become the best in your field. Your minority status is actually an advantage. You have the best of both worlds. You have the peace, riches, and security of North America, and you have your friends and family back home. You can take advantage of the riches in North America and then go back to your home country and live it up. You are internationally blessed and internationally connected. But your greatest advantage as a minority comes from your special place in Jesus. You are special because you are a visible minority Christian. You are one of the very few select visible minorities that have accepted the gospel. Jesus wants you to lead other visible minorities and help them to believe in the Lord Jesus. You know how it's like to grow up from a non-Christian historical background and find Jesus to transform your life. You are special to Jesus because you are a visible minority Christian. Most of your people don't believe in Jesus. You can take the gospel to them. Become a Moses and bring your people out from the wilderness. Become a prophet like Moses and lead your nation into the peace and love of Jesus today. After you have received blessings, it's your responsibility to bless your family and friends in your home country. Your people are hungry and thirsty for Jesus. Don't forget your roots and bless them as a worthy member of the body of Christ. Acts 20.35 In everything I did, I showed you by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Your hard work has prospered you in your new world. Now it's your turn to give to your home country. It's more blessed to give than to receive. You will receive eternal riches by remembering your roots and giving to your home country. Minority status is an amazing advantage that gives you more open doors, more connections, and more opportunities to preach the gospel. Take full advantage of your minority status in Jesus. Take the gospel to your people and lead them to Jesus today. Final Prayer Let me pray with you one last time. Please follow me in prayer. God, today I am healed of all stress from acculturation. I belong in my society and I am a vital part of the body of Christ. I have a better life today and a brighter future. I can take on the challenges and overpower them with the power of the Holy Spirit. Minority status is an amazing advantage. I am happy that I am a minority. I will preach the gospel to my people. In Jesus' name, Amen. Take a deep breath in and breathe out gradually, confessing, I am a happy minority. Ready? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, confessing, I am a happy minority. Take another breath in. And exhale, confessing, I am filled with the Holy Spirit today. Take one last one and confess. My Lord Jesus has healed my spirit. You feel better, right? You are now stress-free, healed from cultural stress, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with love, peace, and joy, and ready to take on a new day. Honor God and glorify His name and respect Him today. Your special place in Jesus is effective when you believe in Jesus as your Lord God and Savior. Pray and confess, I believe in Jesus as my Lord and Savior. You are now a member of the body of Christ, ready to receive spiritual blessings from God. Join a good Christian church today and keep watching my videos. Stress will be overpowered by the Spirit of Jesus. International
internet, seminar. internationalinternetseminary com. Thank you for watching our videos. I pray that this video has helped you in your daily walk with the Lord. I am Paul Min, the president and founder of International Internet Seminary. I write the textbooks, record them for the audio, and produce all the videos. I'm um, excused the lighting, by the way. I am uncomfortable showing my face in public because I'm a social outcast and I'm extremely ugly. And excuse me if I sound like I mumble and my nose is blocked. I have sinus problems and I'm on a lot of antipsychotic medications that make my jaws lock. I really try hard to open my mouth more. The reason why I'm on antipsychotic medications is because I have severe schizophrenia and depression. I have bad auditory and visual hallucinations and severe depression that make me secluded from the rest of the world. The depression began when I first started Bible College in Florida. I learned church history for the first time and found that New Testament church history was almost exclusively the history of the Western world. Asia and Africa seemed to have been secluded from the gospel in church history. I felt as if God did not evangelize Asia and Africa as much as Western civilizations which depressed me. I knew that God loved the world through Jesus Christ, but it seemed as if God did not love Asians and Africans as much as Europeans and Americans. And the school that I went to turned out to be a King James only as church, which made the situation even worse. I fell into a deep depression, disappointed at God and the one-sidedness of church history. I felt weak and powerless all the time. The school kicked me out for being depressed. When I got expelled from school, the depression turned into schizophrenic symptoms. I started to hear voices and see spirits. I became a homeless man, wandering around in buses, preaching the gospel on the streets. I attempted suicide by cutting my face and arms. I was taken to the hospital where they diagnosed me with schizophrenia. The hospital put me on medications and I went on opiates. That made the symptoms a little better but made me a living dead. I was one of those psychotic street bums who wandered the streets aimlessly. But by the grace of God, the symptoms have improved. I studied the Bible in an online seminary which really helped me. I was able to finish a PhD in theology and continue my dream of one day becoming a worthy man of God. I would like to minister to unfortunate people in the world and help them through my internet seminary videos. Bible study really helped me to cope with my schizophrenia, depression, and addiction. I would like to help people with mental illnesses, learning disabilities, drug addiction, that are living in poverty without hope, and tell them that Jesus loves them. I would especially love to help out unfortunate people in Asia and Africa who have not had the gospel for most of their history. But I find it very hard to do on my own. I am on government support and struggling to make ends meet. The little money that I get is spent on purchasing equipment and making videos. I am living far below the poverty line at the moment. I am surviving in government housing where Muslims bash me daily. Your donations can make a big difference in my life today. I am surviving on government support and I would like to get off government support. I would love to be able to pay my own bills through God's work. Please donate today. Even a dollar or two will help me now. Other generous amounts will be greatly appreciated. You can do so by clicking on the offering button on the top right of the home page. Your donations will contribute towards producing more videos and video translations. I will be focusing more on mental health health videos, helping mentally ill people with schizophrenia, depression, autism, ADHD, chronic fatigue, learning disabilities, anxiety disorder, and etc. through the Lord Jesus Christ and Bible study. I am currently partnering with churches in Africa and Southeast Asia to assist mentally ill people in unfortunate situations. 
Persons with mental illnesses in developing countries are living in severe poverty right now and they need your help today. As Christians have been blessed, I believe that we should share our blessings. We know that God has blessed us. As God has blessed us, we must share our blessings in Jesus Christ. God is pleased with your offerings and He promised to reward your givings with eternal rewards in heaven. Your offerings and donations today will return to you in honor, glory, and eternal blessings through our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 9, 6, and 7 Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. God loves you more when you give. When you give to International Internet Seminary, you are giving to God as you are supporting God's work. We are working hard to build the best mental health help seminary videos in the world to help mentally ill people around the world through Jesus Christ. We are working on a $5 a month campaign. Your gift of only $5 a month or only 16 cents per day can help to support our mental health ministry. Your gift will support our video production costs, technical equipment costs, and our future plans with churches in Southeast Asia and Africa. A $5 a month will help us continue God's work. Please click on Patreon link in the comment section or at our website offerings page to give $5 a month. You can use credit card or PayPal. More donations will be appreciated. Please donate today to help mentally ill people through Jesus Christ. We thank you in advance and may the Lord bless you.